The question is, does your water matter? Um, I'm asked sometimes, th this is in connection with the Portsmouth tea and the Hampshire tea and all, you know, all the other local, does it really matter? Yes, yes it does. Um, if I go home to my parents' house down in Sussex, the Portsmouth tea does not taste as good as it tastes here. The English breakfast tastes far better. You would think that from Portsmouth to uh, Bexhill-on-Sea in Sussex, which is a you know, two-hour drive along the coast, not, there wouldn't be very much change. But there is. So much so that my best tea here doesn't taste so good over there. Um, you know, similarly, when I used to travel to Oxfordshire regularly, um, a, a different tea, you know, the Hampshire tea was far better up there. And that was really, go back, that's going back a few years, and that was really what settled me upon the idea of, of producing different tea blends for every area. So yes, the water matters enormously. And if you think about it, it makes perfect sense because we're just drinking flavoured water. That's all it is. It's just hot water with some flavour extracted from the, from the tea. So of course the water matters. It, but it matters in another way as well, which is that it changes the way in which that extraction of flavour occurs. So if you've got a hard water which is not very acidic at all, it does not extract the flavour very efficiently. If you've got very soft water which is much more acidic, um, and you know that because you grow your rhododendrons in acidic soil, don't you? Um, then it extracts the flavour and the colour much more efficiently. That can result, if you've got a harsh tea, in all the harshness coming out. So what you want in soft water is something with a, with a, with a subtle, smooth flavour, such as Ceylon. And in hard, hard water, what you want is something that really has lots of oomph and guts, um, and colour and strength, so a good Assam blend. So answer, yes, the water really matters.